Installation Preparation Download the software. In this module, we are going to learn how to Navigate and log in to support.broadcom.com Download the Autosys Workload Automation Software and validate the downloaded software files. In the following video, we are going to learn how to download the software from the Broadcom support page. We have to keep in mind that we must have previously subscribed to support.broadcom.com in order to conduct the following procedure. Once we subscribe, we will be able to log in and download the software. We will go to the support.broadcom.com page and we are going to log in. We click on login. We enter the email we use to subscribe and the password. We go to the My Dashboard page and select My Downloads. This page may change depending on the products you have contracted from Broadcom. Select Autosys Workload Automation. We click on Autosys Workload Automation. and we select the version we will install. Here we have the different ISO files available for version 12.1.01. This is the Autosys for AIX, the Autosys for HPUX, Linux Autosys, and Windows Autosys. Also, there is a checksum file with keys to validate that the downloaded files are not compromised, corrupt, or incomplete. We have three ways to download the files. Using HTTPS, using FTP, or we can select several files to download together. And click on Download Selected. Now, let's see how to download the software with the HTTPS option. Select the file you want to download. In this case, we are going to download the checksum file. We click on the HTTPS icon. A new page opens and the download starts. The download completes. If we want to download an ISO file, for example, Autosys for AIX. We click on the HTTPS icon again and the file is downloaded. Now let's try the FTP download. We go to the software we want to download, the Linux Autosys for instance. We click on the secure FTP icon and we get the download instructions. Copy the FTP host's direction downloads.broadcom.com. Open a DOS prompt, type the FTP command, and paste the direction. Enter the Broadcom site credentials. Enter the hash command to see the download progress. Copy the file location. Enter the git command followed by the file direction. And the download starts. The file has been downloaded now. The time it takes to download depends on your connection speed. We close the FTP session with the quit command. And confirm the file has been downloaded. The third download option available is Download Selected. How it works? We select the files we want to download. And then click on Download Selected. 
Now, we can download the files using either HTTPS or Secure FTP. As we talked about before, we have discussed the three available options for downloading the software. Once we have downloaded the software, it is necessary to verify that they have been downloaded without errors. For this purpose, we use the checksum file to validate that the integrity of the files has not been compromised during the download and that the downloaded and original files are identical. Let's download the checksum file. The download completes and we open the file. The file has the checksum values for each AutoSys platform file. We are going to use the checksum to validate the Linux AutoSys ISO file we have downloaded previously. Open a DOS command prompt and enter the certutl command, hash file, followed by the name of the file we are going to validate using the SHA1 algorithm. Broadcom provides two algorithms, the MD5 and the SHA1. Once the command completes, it returns a valor that must match the one included in the PDF document. In this case, the value generated by the certutl command must match the checksum value in the PDF for the Linux autosys file. We compare the two values and we have a match. The file is correct. Validating with one of the algorithms is enough, but for demonstration purposes, we also show the procedure using the MD5 algorithm. We check the MD5 value in the PDF with the value returned by the command and we have a match. With this validation, we confirm the Linux ISO file was downloaded successfully and we are sure that the file is not damaged, incomplete, or compromised in any way. We have complete now the download the software module. This module showed you how to navigate and log into support.broadcom.com. Download the AutoSys workload automation software. Validate the downloaded software files using the checksum file.